you're so hungry. You'll all be over soon. It's okay, is it? seems to be like I'm, I'm thinking like um, his lack of um, offensive magic is a bit of a drawback because he can't really hit with physical but like the um, the types of magic that he does have it's like oh shit this is like fucking nice like his um, Saints Fire that's a really good one for this battle um, Blessing, awesome. Miracle, awesome. Ataraxia is also awesome. This is... And all of his spells are curatives, so... It's not just Rika that can do the um, Gisar, it's also Raja. In fact, he can do it better. He can just, like, spam Nasa the entire time. So, that's probably what I'm going to be doing, actually. Which is literally fucked. Let's do it again.
don't want a rune to be targeted, so I better cure him up. She just targets the individual. This gives me the chance to, to lay the smack down. Lay it. I smack it down. This, this is good, this is really good. Satisfying. Very satisfying. Uh -oh. She might be 
dead now. No, no. I've done Miracle once. I'll, I'll try Miracle. No one. <laughs> I really like the, um, the character avatars, with the background being like a solid color. Like I'm, I'm a huge fan of that. Let's do the time warp again. The Elysian. Thank you all. Not a nipple. That's a moon and a star. So now what I'll have to do in my spare time at some point, I'll need to go through and uh, complete the uh, missable level capped challenges. I'll, I'll show you it after we get through these credits here. But I'm glad that I was able to kind of just bang these out. Like, how many did I get? Like another, like, seven. That's pretty good, I think. And I was like, oh, like, I'm pretty sure Haseo's got this one. And you did. But not the revision. But, um, hey, if, if my dumbass can do it, you can. 
It's just tedious. That's what I think a lot of these devs, they, they don't realize. It's like, once we've done the game, it's like... Not necessarily everyone wants to be forced to play the game again. It's kind of like, onto the next challenge. You know what I mean? So when a, when a set that, you know, many people would consider, like, oh, it's a fairly decent set. When it goes from, like, 30 achievements to 90, people people feel some type of way, and you, you're never going to stop that from happening. Best character in the game, Alice. I'm sorry, it's, 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 it's facts. It loses the best. Most annoying character? Chaz. Of course. Chaz can uh, die in a fire. No, no, no. Let's not, let's, let's not be unreasonable here. Um, how about... I'll, I'll say what I consider to be good characters. Uh, obviously, Rika. Um, what I call Ren a good character? He has his strengths. Yeah. Like, he's definitely better than Rune, in my opinion. Um, Han, fuck that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Demi? I guess at the stage of the game where you have use of her, she's pretty good. But when she came back during that last bit, um... Like, I, I felt like she was, like, a bit of a liability. A bit of a handicap. It's it's always nice to have the extra party member in at that final dungeon, but, yeah. Kira. Kira's actually pretty good. Like, solid HP, solid defense, magic, pretty much the same as uh, Rune. She's pretty good. And Raja. Raja is almost like a cheat code, but you only get him for like a very small period of time. So. <laughs> oh, and Gris. Gris. Yeah, I think Raja and Demi are... Uh, Demi... Uh, Raja's definitely, like, broken. Demi is, like, pretty good at the, at the time. But, yeah. Gris, I personally didn't have much time for. Not... But he was a bit of a tank for the period of time that you do have him. He just, you know, all he could do was, like, attack. Yeah. Other strengths of this game? The music. Although, at times, I feel like it's a bit crunchy in... It could just be because I'm playing it through an emulator. But, yeah. Han was worthless. Han was funny. And when you think about it, like, his ability as, like, a support, like a cura, was pretty good. Kara, we don't talk about Kara. Why not? I thought Kara was uh, like pretty fucking good. Chaz, like, I I just don't like the character of Chaz. I'm sorry. Um, but his abilities, um, they weren't overpowering. Like I think I liked uh, Arika better in terms of like you know, pure, you know, physical techniques. Yeah, but Seth turned out to be fucking Dark Force, so fuck Seth. Stupid old man. We won't forget the mustache, though. You hated Ky Kyra. Wow. Nah. Alice was the best character, and then it's like, oh, by the way, dead. I'm like, huh. Alright, cool.
Of course, Chaz wants to start a relationship with a one-year-old. Expected for Chaz. The art in this game is just... For pixel art? God damn, like, top tier. More like, uh, fucking Chaz, like, doubles over and his spine, like, crumples. I thought Rune was taller than Chaz. goes back to his fiance. He's teaching in whatever academy it is. Oh, the terrible curse of yore? Hmm. That's Gris with um his sister, I believe. His village got massacred. Maybe like two were they the only survivors? I can't quite recall. And old man Raja laughing it up with his fucking lean. So fucking Gucci gang, 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 Lil Pump, oh, yeah. And fucking Demi's like, hehe, oh, master, master in, ooh, ooh. It's a bit inappropriate. Rune's character is quite interesting because, like, he apparently knows Alice, and I'm guessing perhaps those characters appeared in a previous fantasy star, but I, I don't know. Lutz, yeah. But, um... Like, I, I'm not sure if Lutz knows Alice, or if Alice is like a an avatar for Alice. A-L-I-S. Um, a criticism I had of the game was I felt like, um, it started off kind of like feeling like it was going to be very broad and expansive and have like lots of side quests and stuff. Then it felt to me like, boom, it's done. And it happened very abruptly. Like, this is nowhere near the length of uh, Final Fantasy VI. Or even Final Fantasy IV. So. That kind of surprised me, but it doesn't need to be ultra long. Not at all. Um, the art is beautiful. The music's beautiful. Story. Um, maybe, like, in the full context. Like, if... If this was like your fourth fantasy star game, and you played the, the previous three and loved the previous three, like maybe you'd be more into it. But coming just being like um, dropped into number four, it's like, okay, it's got like an interesting story. It's mixing magic with sci-fi and shit. It's pretty cool. He's in all games. The question is always who? Who is Lutz? Oh, I see. That's pretty sick. We're able to like we're, we're running a bit over time because I, I try to I'm trying to keep it to between seven and eleven. Um, but I'm glad we did that. We knocked out like the achievers that we're going for all of them. Yeah. Next stream, which will be on Monday, will be uh, returning to the Final Fantasy Seven low level run, and we're going to try to just push that as fast as we can. Um, and then at that point. Um, I'd probably like to return to some of the um, suspended Let's Plays again to try to just push them out of the way so that they're finally completed, you know what I mean? Um, I'd like to also play some modern games. Um, Supplies is one that people have been wanting me to play. Um, Traz and Mr. Jow specifically. 
Um, and there are some other like cutesy indie games that I've been thinking of uh, playing on stream. So there's that. But yeah. Titty Moon. Alright, that's it. Now, apparently... Okay, at, at this point here, once you've completed the game, if you press the B button, you can go into the sound test. I don't know which button it is, though. Let me, let me see. Uh, fantasy Star, because I'd like to just quickly show off that, because I haven't even seen it before. Um, what do you call it? Music? Music menu? Sound test. Someone asked the question, no one answered. That happens so often. It's like the, it's like your question, word for word, and then zero answers. So. Hmm. Okay, so on, on my Xbox um, controller, I pressed A, and A corresponds to what button? C? So that, that's what it's been mapped to. No, I'm sorry, sorry. So this button here, I'm sorry. It'd be mapped to B. Okay. So the B on the Xbox controller is, I guess, mapped to the B button on a uh, Sega Mega uh, Sega Mega Drive controller. Okay. Okay. So no, no, do that. Okay. Let's uh. Listen. Right, you got that one? Bang a tune, this one. Again, I like that tune as well. Uh, I mean, it's alright. I like this, um open world music a lot. Again, this is battle music that I think is good and is not annoying. This is alright for fan and fair all right for fan fair music. Again, nice one. I'm not a fan of this one, it's a bit itchy. Not bad. I don't think I heard this one much. I think this is when you first met um Rune. Yeah, now this this is a bit too a bit too high for me. Yeah, not one of my favorite tunes. 
because I heard this one over and over and over again and it just kind of dragged for certain dungeons. say I like this one, I'm sorry. I mean, it's not like, ooh, boo, I hate it. It's just, it doesn't slap like the others. This one reminded me of, like, uh, Breath of Fire. But again, like, you know, I have nothing in my heart for this one. It's, it's alright, though, I respect it. This was pretty good. But, you know, if you hear it often enough, you got to be great. It's, it's alright. It's just alright, though. It's not, it's not a banger. I think this is only used in a certain cutscene. No feelings on that one. This could have been when Elise was, um, brutally, savagely murdered. Yeah, that was, it was pretty good. As far as sad music goes, yeah, it's yeah, pretty poignant. Nah, I'm not a fan of this one. Bit too much going on. At least I like this one. This reminds me of um, but it is not as good as the uh, Tower of Zot in uh, Final Fantasy IV. Like the urgency and like this felt like like Final Dungeon kind of music. You know, like when like you're all jacked up, you're, all your characters like high level. You've got the best gear, and you're like, "Fuck, this is the final dungeon. This is where all the, the big enemies are. We're, we're gonna have boss gauntlets and everything." And it's like, like ready your asshole. That's good. This one, it's alright. Again, meh. I mean, it's alright. No. I don't know. It's not grabbing me. Yeah, this one didn't grab me either. Not this one either. Where did I hear this one? Yeah. Alright, I like this one. This one was good. Oh yeah. This was um, when you're in space going between planets. This one was a banger. Alert? Oh dear. Nah, I'm not a big fan of that one. Low key, this is alright. Yeah, low key, I like this one. Yeah, this is alright. Gigi no rag. <laughs> Game be 
Yes. It's an interesting tune. I'll give it that. Yeah, I like this one. I mean, it exists. I want to like this one. This was um, Tower of Silence, I think. But, you know, it didn't quite draw me in. This bit of the song, definitely I like. No. Is this like just before meeting the found darkness? Probably. I like this one. This feels like Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, I think this is the after you beat the the, the big bad, and this is part of it. Yeah, and no, this is similar to the intro music, but I think the, the intro music is more compact. Like, it, it showcases the best bit of this longer tune. The fuck? Um, there was a, a bit of the beginning of the game where there were, like, dances, right? It was like a secret show. I'm pretty sure this is the music for that. Oh, wow. B, which takes you here. Alright, well, we are done for tonight.